Now then, um, Affinity Designer workbook on the iPad. We're doing section 2.23 and 2.24. Glow effects and brightness and contrast adjustments. Page 114 and page 115. Now I've reset the image to its to its original settings. Nothing's been changed on this one. Let me just move it up a little bit. Effects and adjustments so you can see it. So with the red ellipse, it says still selected in the book, but I'm starting from scratch here. So you'll notice that the white um, ellipse on the top of the very front red ball hasn't been modified. It was in the last one, it hasn't in this. So I've just tapped on layers and I've got the effects and adjustments layer open. That's the one we're working on and I'll expand it. There's the ellipse there. There's the little ellipse on the top of the ball. You can see that. That's that one there. That's all there is to that. That's quite interesting that they can do that. But this is the one we want there. Never mind the little pale white ellipse on the top of it. So we've got the layers selected and the red ellipse selected. With the red ellipse still selected, on the layers panel, click on the FX icon. Now there's the FX icon. Nothing is in effect at the moment. This gives me access to all of them. So I want to select the inner glow from the list on the left and adjust the settings for it. So inner glow is the fourth one down. Let's turn that on. Now you'll see the context toolbar down the bottom hasn't changed. But if you tap on the word inner glow, just there, it changes it. So we now have... The blend mode is multiply, the opacity is 35, 100, 71, and the color and the origin is around the edge. Now that's obviously a standard sort of setting because that's just popped that into place. And you can change that to whatever you like. And it says in the book that the blend mode to multiply and the color to HSL 0060. Now, blend mode is multiply, the color, which is there, it's already on the HSL slider, and it's 0, 0, and 60, which is fine. We'll leave it at that, because what I can show you, the inner glow, you can see, is applied to the edge there. But, if we change the origin to the center, you can see it's gone slightly darker in the center. If we go to the edge... There's the edge, center, edge, and of course we want it on the edge. That really is all there is to that. There's an inner glow and it's a, that grey sort of colour. It's like a shadow glow and you can experiment with that to your heart's content. Now on the layers panel, we select the artboard. Let's go back to the layers panel, select the artboard, that's the whole artboard. Well, that artboard there called Effects and Adjustments, you see. And that's the one we've got there, Effects and Adjustments. Now, select Brightness and Contrast in the Adjustments layer. Have you lost the Adjustments layer? There's the Adjustments Studio. On the iPad, it's called a Studio. On the desktop, it's called a Panel. And it's, a, and it's within the studio. So there's the adjustments panel or the adjustments studio. Take your pick. Select brightness and contrast. And you've now got the, um, the context toolbar down the bottom. The brightness and contra context, brightness and contrast adjustment layer is added to the layers panel. And you can see it there. Now it's above everything else, right there. So it will affect everything below it. Which is something to keep in mind. Now let's see what they've got there. Brightness, what's the setting for the brightness in the book is 23. Well, let's set that to 23. And it is brighter. The contrast, 37%. Contrast. Uh, 
37%. So that's quite a, that is actually quite a different picture. If we turn off that adjustment layer, you can see what it does. Back on, back off, back on, wax on, wax off. So that's your adjustment layer, brightness and contrast adjustment of everything that's below it and the glow effect on the inner edge of the ball. Not from the center, but round the edges. Now that's all there is to glow effect and brightness and contrast adjustment. Really, it's just a matter of finding where the tools are hidden on iPad.